Okay, so if you're gonna um, hang work in the Nierberg Gallery, if it's work on paper, the only things that you can use are this, command strips, which you can get at Hanover Hardware or online, or brads, which you can also get at Hanover Hardware. Um, brads are just little nails, essentially, and they're small, and you can buy some that have heads on them so that if you want to keep the paper closer to the wall, you can. Never pound the brad all the way into the wall because you can't get it out then. You're digging around at the wall. Um, so always make sure that the brad sticks out enough so that you can grab it with a pair of pliers. Long wall on the Nierberg Gallery has plywood behind it so you can screw into it and nail into it. The front wall is the smaller Nierberg Gallery that looks out onto the Mafai Plaza. Those do not have plywood. So you, it's pretty impossible to hang something that's really heavy on a screw because there's the screw can't anchor into any plywood there. So you have to use, I just wouldn't do it. Just keep it, keep to like work on paper and light work then. So when you go to pull out, a screw is easy. You use a screw gun or a screwdriver, pull it out. Um, the way not to remove a nail is to just go in there with the hammer like this and then force it out. So. You see what happens. See how you, this is all ripped? The way to remove a nail is, let's do this one. Put a piece of wood up here, or I use my spackling knife, and you just start to, you pull it out slightly like this. So what you're essentially doing is pulling it out straight, like this. So this is what you end up with. A, a nice kind of clean hole. But, if you feel that, there's a, there's a slight bump there, and if this is all you have to worry about, I always take my, the end of my um, scraper and just kind of push it in like this to make a little indentation, right? And then you just take a little spackle like that on your knife and fill it. Now, I've scraped it flat, but a lot of times what will happen with spackle is that it will dry and then it'll sink. So you'll, if you don't put a little extra like on the top like this, so that it's above the surface of the wall, you'll end up with a, a little divot in the wall. But this, if you have damage like this, you have to go around it and scrape all the, all the loose um, sheetrock, the paper from the sheetrock or whatever off the wall that you've damaged and then make sure that's flat, and then just do the same thing. You know, make a little divot in there, and then, you know, put some spackle on it. I always raise it up a little bit like that. All right, and then, depending on the humidity, you know, if there's air conditioning, this spackle, depending if it's, if it's vinyl or if it's non-vinyl, it takes a few hours to dry. I always wait until the next day. And then you take your sand, your sanding, um, your sandpaper, which is on a block, so that it makes you know you make sure you're not like poking in on it. This makes an even kind of uh, surface when you sand off the top of this. And then you just go in and like I just do it lightly like around like this. And when you think you've got it, you know you feel it to, just to make sure that's still not uh, smooth. It's still a little raised. So now it's perfectly smooth and it's going to look like this when you paint it.